Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Dirt 3. Today is episode number 6. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Off road time, we're going on to the off road rush Osiris, I think that's it. So we've got Rally, Trailblazer, Rally Cross, and then we've got two more hidden events and another stage of the Monte Carlo DLC. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, for this one, I want to take... Uh, I want to take 90s, and I want to take... Ooh! Ooh, that's nice. Lancia Delta. We haven't driven that yet. Because I know the Lancia Delta Welcome is a Norway, very nice the car. Land of the Vikings, and once home to the Winter Olympians... With unrelenting snow and ice, this is a true test of all your driving skills. The only so we have to finish at 68 miles an hour. So we have to cross the finish line at 68. That's a challenge I'm willing to take. Right, let's go. I can't remember if these cars are four-wheel drive or just rear-wheel drive. I think the Delta was four-wheel drive. Yeah, it feels very four-wheel drive like. Right, under the bridge, we go nice. Oh, air time. That was cool, though. Very nice. Through the split, perfect. Alright, let's go around this corner. Nice. Perfect. I think what I will do for the next race is bump up the difficulty to three. Uh, give ourselves a little bit more of a challenge. There's no point taking it easy when... I mean, I did take it very easy for Dirt 2, but this is like... Look at the gap there. That is huge. Like, we have finished the entire of Sector 3 before... The person behind us started sector three. Very nice. The good thing about this, though, being back compatible is I can use a more comfortable controller. Because um, when I was recording Dirt 2 and Project Gotham Racing, um, I was obviously using the old Xbox controller, and that wasn't too comfortable, the triggers. Um, especially for a racing game, they're very... Post that footage on YouTube. They're not very rounded, so they're difficult to uh, hold grip onto. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the next stage, and we are going to be taking... Uh, we're going to be taking the difficulty up to a three. I think we're on two at the moment. Right, let's take a look at difficulty. We're obviously running a custom setup, so we're going to bump it up to a three. And we're going to race. Hopefully that is has uh, made an impact and made it more difficult. Alright, let's go. Go, go, go! They do seem to be going a little bit quicker. Oh, let's get around that corner, preferably. Nice. Right, slow down. Nice. We are catching up, but much slower. And if you look at that total time, we're only 0 0.4 seconds faster in that first sector. So yeah, the difficulty has been bumped up, which is very nice. We're obviously in the snow, so we can't push the car too much. Um, just because we're not very good at driving in the snow. Open, open, left. 
That Darren guy is set a very fast time though. We are so close Left though. Six. Right six over crest, keep in. Into crest. Left four under bridge. Right four, very long, keep in. Okay, there we go, nice. Five, keep in. That is a super impressor up ahead. I think we just hit that 64 mile an hour target as well. Oh no, it was a beat Keep of time. You're doing great. Did we beat the time? I think we did. If we didn't, then that would be embarrassing. We did. We beat the time. And we are driver rep level 10 now. What do we unlock? What team wants us on their team? Team Falcon. Falcon tires. I don't like the colour though. Oh, another team. BP Ford Abu Dubai. Fair enough. Oh, and another team. Citroen Total. Awesome. I do like Citroen. Citroen has a very nice design. Hey, Craig. You've been asked to take part in another publicity event. That'll give your rep a boost for sure. Oh, Jim Connor Sprint 01. Okay, nice. Uh, right, let's do Trailblazer next. And what car are we taking? Okay, so the next one is a Audi Quattro. Obviously, you can choose a lower car, but you get a lot less rep for those teams. Obviously, this is the highest amount of rep you can get for a team. You raced a clean line, last. And to be fair, the Quattro is a nice looking car. Like, look at that. Big wang. Okay, we need to hit 116 miles an hour for this. Right, let's do this. Listen to that engine. Right, let's try and not cock it up. Right, we've hit that 116 mile an hour target. We went very wide there. Right, I'm hoping we're going to get a good time throughout all this. Very nice, very nice. Perfect. S sector 2 completed. Slowing down. And across the line. Very fast there. Right. On to the next stage. Hopefully it goes well. But that that blue colour. I like the blue. I don't like the baby bluey green. It's not a nice colour. Right, we got a beat time of 145 now. I've just noticed as well, it's it's it wasn't matte colour before. It was matte, but it wasn't metallic. I'm confused now. Right, slow in, tap the handbrake. Nicely done around that corner there. Got a crash up ahead. 
Pike's Peak car come off. Managed to get back onto the road though. Nice. Let's pick up some speed. Very nice corner there. Oh, 2.9 seconds ahead. That straight section really got us a lot of time. Nice, nice. Oh, look at that. Straight to the finish. 133.51 Looking great out there. Hey, you always look great out there. <laughs> always looking great. Thanks for that. Looking at a good reputation reward there as well. Right, on to the next one, which is Rallycross Showdown. Boom, you've qualified for the finals. Can I have your autograph? Seriously, this is fantastic. The way things are going, I think you have an excellent chance of qualifying for the Summer X Games later this season. Everyone settle down. Let's start by winning this final and take it from there, okay? Yep, right, Rallycross Showdown. Seven laps, okay. Um, so we have to take the Peugeot 207 T16 for this one. Right, let's go and do this. Rallycross in Monaco. This is nice. Oh, look, Tanner Faust is in the game. Oh, we've gone very wide there. It's a Kenwood. This car was designed to stay in the kitchen. This car is more of a kitchen appliance than a rallycross car. Though, we did just overtake everyone just like that. Alright, squeeze through there. Nice. Oh. Oh. He doesn't want to let that position go. But he's going to. Right, slowing down, tap of the handbrake. I don't like that those corners are taken in first gear because first gear doesn't have enough acceleration. But then again, this is a very arcade style compared to Dirt 4, which is more realistic. Slowing down, tap of the handbrake. Nice. Right, on to lap number four. Right, we're now halfway through the race. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Couldn't get around that corner. Right, three laps left to go. Slowing down here, tap of the handbrake gets us round this corner very nicely. And you see, that's why you're supposed to stay in second gear. Because that way you get around the corner properly. Perfect. Looks like we're taking that corner very wide there. The cars are sticking to us behind. Right. 
Right, final lap. Coming on to the final lap now. Onto the brakes. Perfect. Slow, slow, slow. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, come on. Accelerate, accelerate. Come on, get out of there. Perfect. 321.331. Continue. That was a wild race. You know what they say. Most sports take one ball. This one... Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Tenth place. Tenth place? No, ten level. I can't speak today. Right, next event is going to be the Jim Connor Sprint. This Let's go Jim ahead Connor with that. Sprint challenge. Pull off the tricks in the order shown and get to the end as fast as you can. If you miss a trick, you'll have to go back forward, so stay focused. So we have to go in order. Hmm. I've never done a Jim Connor Sprint before, so this is going to be interesting. Right, so we got to beat one minute and ten seconds. Let's do this. Right, first of all, is it air? Come on, spin. No? Okay, right, restart. <laughs> Let's try that again. This is the first time doing this, so... Gotta get used to it. Right, air. Completed. Slow it down, tap of the handbrake. Right, spin has been done. Next is drift. And now we got a smash. And then we got a donut. Right, and then smash, and smash. And there's some more smash here. Come on. Drifting under there, and then donut over here. Nice, and then air time. Bronze. That was dreadful. I think that's nice worthy goal. of another try. Genuinely, we cannot just leave that like that. Right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Nearly messed it up there. Smash. Right, time for donut. There we go, we got round. Now on to smash. 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 Drift. Perfect. On to donut again. And airtime. Come on, let's get that gold. Gold. Woo! That is how it's done. Today was your day. Way to come back and get the gold. Amazing. Right, let's see. How much rep did we get for that? 1,500. Very nice. Right, next up is the head-to-head... -head. Uh, where is that? Here we go. The rush final in Monaco. We can take either open S2000 or the 90s. I'm going to be going S2000 for this one with the Grande Punto. Right, let's do this. Race. Out. 
and go, go, go. I absolutely love this track though. Monaco is an amazing head-to-head -head track. We go nice over the bridge. Right, and we're going under the bridge here. We are miles ahead of the other guy though. Right, let's go. Right, slow down for this hairpin corner. That was terrible. We went to a standstill. Right, across here. Tap of the handbrake around the corner. Perfect. Right, over the bridge, around the outside. The kitchen car is coming through. And there we go. 132.709. Very nice. Right, continuing on to the next event. Honestly, I absolutely love these head-to-head -head things because it's just... It's interesting, the crossover, you're doing one lap, but it feels like two. And the fact that each one, one part of the track, one sort of half of it, is shorter than the other. So you can either feel like you're ahead or you're further behind. And it's just so cool and so fun to sort of like, you can't tell if you're in the lead or not. Go nice. Right five, left five, left five, right, we got bridge. Right, slow right, down. Time to go under the next bridge. Nicely done. And across the line onto the second half of the route. Right, we had that hairpin turn, but taking that much slower meant that the car didn't come to a standstill this time. Very nice. I would love to one day just come to like a crossover track like this and just drive on it. Like it would be so much fun because obviously crossover tracks are much narrower and it would just be a fun experience just to take a car and just nip it round the corners. You won't end up going more than 70 miles an hour easy but it's just fun. Right, let's go to the final race of the rush. We're at night time for this one. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, close. Keep going, keep going. Nice. Come on. Much better. It's a little bit more difficult when it's dark. Just a scratch. We went into the wall. Right, we hit the speed of 101. 
Perfect. Keep that engine running. Ah, oh, no, we went into the wall there again. Trying to avoid the wall as much as possible. There we go, nice. Across the line. 133.255. This is a great result for you. Enjoy it. Yeah, just don't enjoy it too much if you know what I mean. Don't enjoy it too much? Why not? Why can't I enjoy my time of winning? 2,000, 1,950, and 750 rep. Neato. Oh, Red Mango Racing. That is a very nice design there from them. Is there another team? No, just that one. Want to know where this driver's going? Two words for you. Summer X Games. I know this is amazing. X Games is three. Last season, I hoped that we'd make it this far, but I can't believe we're actually here. We believe in you. Now go show the world just what you can do. Right. On to Monte Carlo now for the final event, and we are going to be taking Group B, probably, actually. I think Group B would be nice. 700 rep for our rewards for this car. Should be very nice indeed. The colour though. No one doubts your skills at I don't like the colour. Why you're one of the best. Right. Let's do this. I really don't like the colour. Right, let's race. Oh, that engine, though. Oh, these cars have grit. Right, slowing down, hairpin. Perfect. Oh, tap of the handbrake. Let's get that round the corner. Nice. Oh, slow down for here. Perfect. 50 seconds for one sector, though. This is much longer than the rest of the tracks. Oh, and we've gone very wide there. Oh, close to the wall. Into the village, nice. Right, slowing down. Oh. Close. Right, onto a bridge. We gotta look out for that. There we go. Oh the speed that this car has. I love it so much. Oh, very wide but very recoverable as well we didn't mess it up too much we're looking at a very good time for this car right under the bridge very nice Close. 
very long round this corner here. Across the line. First place, 255.755. Let's continue on to the second stage. Right, let's go on to the second stage of the rally, Off-Road Rush. This is going to be the last event of this championship. Look at that though, the triple front lights. Go, go, go. We need to make sure we don't overdo it with this. Right five. Left six, 40. Left five, tightens long under bridge. Right six. Are we going along the same... Oh! Don't worry, just a scratch. Are we going along the same stage but backwards? Right, I'm not expecting, yeah, second place so far. The fact is though, unlike Dirt 2 where rally stages were done based on points, so if you got 10 points on the first one, 10 points on the second one, but only 8 on the third race, you would win overall. If you did terrible and your time was bad, this one, it's all based on time at the end of the day, not... Oh! That same corner we messed up. Right, I know we've lost a lot of time there, so I'm not expecting a good final position. Uh, second. May have hope. Every podium is another step yes! closer to the final. Did you read that on a fortune cookie or something? That was very good. Very lucky there at the end. I wasn't expecting to get second place. I was expecting to be at least like four seconds behind after crashing twice. Look at that. Rep. Large chunk of rep there. And that is that event completed. News. You've been invited to the Rally World Tour. Ooh. Awesome. That means out of all the rally drivers in the world, you've been recognized as one of the best. You'll compete in four rally events that will put your skills to the test and decide once and for all who's the best rally driver on the planet. Right, so we'll do those uh, world tours towards the end. We'll still carry on with the X Games. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And if you want to join our Discord, where we're going to be discussing a lot about the upcoming Dirt 5 release, then make sure to click that link down in the description down below. And there's a load of other social links there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.